part two. Picking up where that one left off. We're gonna, it gets tricky because we're gonna put in nine nails here. So we're gonna have to do nine equally. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah! Gonna make it over one. Okay. Eight. And that one would be nine. So there's my one. So you're thinking, ooh, nine nails means we are doing ninths. But check this out. We have, we need to do a different color in here so you can see it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are have ten spaces. So this would actually be ten over ten. And over here would be zero over ten. So when you're putting in the nine nails, you need to remember that equivalent fractions would be that you have to do it so that it turns out so that you have enough in between them. So we're actually dealing in tenths. So marquee, marquee, marquee fraction where you put it in. All right, so I'm gonna make label my, it says build a number bond with the fractions to one hole, then write the fraction of the nail that is equivalent to half of the wire. All right, so let's start out with our fraction. So we're gonna do one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, and then one we already labeled as 10 over 10, which is a whole. So we're gonna need to build a number bond with fractions to one whole. So if this is one whole, our fraction has to have 10 arms on it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this would be one tenth, one tenth, one tenth, one tenth. Looks like a sunflower. One tenth, one tenth, one tenth, one tenth. Looks like a flower. It's like so full. And our last tenth. So we have one tenth all the way around it. So there are ten pieces to make up one hole when you're dealing with tenths. Write the fraction of the nail that is equivalent to half of the wire. So what is half of ten? What two numbers can you put together to make ten? That is an easy way to think of it. You could also do it this way. You could do one, two, three, four, five because you could count one two three four five so one two three four five then if I want to come in from this end I go one two three four five so it would be ten half of ten is five tenths so the fraction that is equivalent is five tenths now a lot going on here but when you break it down and you do your steps piece by piece, then go back and check your work. It's a great way to figure out what you are doing. So thank you for uh, working on me with application problem number 12.